Until her recent retirement, Frida Hussein was a school teacher, a teacher who spent almost all of her professional career in the city of Leicester. She was awarded the MBE in 2002 for services to education. Frida Hussein was also High Sheriff of the County of Leicestershire in 2004 and 2005 and continues to serve the city and the county. No peaceful retirement for her. Frida Hussein was born in Pakistan, educated at the Convent of Jesus and Mary in Lahore. She attended the University of Manchester, the university where her father had also studied, where she graduated with a BSc in Zoology and then took her postgraduate certificate of education. After a year teaching science at Altrincham Girls Grammar School, she married and moved to the capital of the United States, working as an office manager whilst her husband was studying at the American University. In 1975, the family returned to the UK, where she taught science at Aldenshaw Boys Grammar School near Manchester. In 1979, Frida Hussein moved to the city of Leicester as head of physics at St. Jonathan North Community College in Knighton. In this 11 to 16 girls secondary school, she increased the uptake of GCSE physics in the school and inspired many of her pupils to continue with science at A-level. She was soon promoted to head of science and then to senior teacher at that school. In 1989, Frida Hussein was appointed as a vice principal of Moat Community College in the Highfields area of Leicester. She became the principal there in 1991 and remained at Moat until her retirement in 2006. The challenge of raising standards in an inner city school and creating a learning environment that students came to value kept her very busy. The name of the school, Moat, meant little to students in Highfields, so she used this as an acronym, maximising our achievement together. The Ofsted report on Moat in 2006 stated, one of the keys to the school's recent success has been the vision and drive of the head teacher to raise standards. She changed the ethos of the school to a can-do culture. She leads by example, and acts as a role model for the ethnic minority pupils. The vision of aiming high was embedded throughout. Another Ofsted inspection described Frida Hussein as an inspirational and outstanding leader. She developed links with local further education colleges, with this university and with De Montfort University. Under her Aim Higher program, students from Moat took vocational GCSE courses at Leicester College. They attended master classes at the local universities. She also started an education action zone with eight local primary schools and some local madrasas, the religious schools attached to the mosques, to raise standards of education in Highfields. Moat College also offers adult education courses spreading its work through the wider community. In 2004, Frida Hussein was appointed High Sheriff of Leicestershire. It is perhaps fortunate that she chose to teach in Leicester rather than some other Midland city, otherwise she may have become the Sheriff of Nottingham, a much less popular figure. The office of High Sheriff is the oldest secular office under the Crown with a continuous history dating back to Saxon times. Originally, the High Sheriff was responsible for all judicial matters, and hence the Sheriff of Nottingham's place in legend, and is still the Sovereign's representative in the county for matters relating to the judiciary and the maintenance of law and order. Former High Sheriffs of Leicestershire include, as you heard, Nicholas Cora, our Pro-Chancellor, in 1996, and Percy G, a name with which you will all be familiar, High Sheriff in, 19, in 1942. Frida Hussein used her term of office to make links. She invited a Crown Court judge to speak at Moat College. She worked with judges, the probation service and the police to develop a citizenship model at Key Stage 4. This module, Law and Order and the Criminal Justice System, is still being used by schools and by youth offending teams. 
In 2006, she was appointed a Deputy Lieutenant of Leicestershire. In this role, she conducts citizenship ceremonies at County Hall, introducing people to Britain, and is a member also of the QCA Citizenship Education Group. In 2007, Frida Hussein was admitted as a Freeman of the Worshipful Company of Framework Knitters, a London livery company incorporated in 1657, which has strong links to this city. The parish of Knighton, where she lives, was dominated by independent, very independent, framework knitters until the middle of the 19th century. Last month, she was also admitted to the freedom of the City of London. As such, she can drive her flock of sheep across London Bridge, doubtless to the great benefit of the framework knitters. Frida Hussein has spent her working life forging links between people, communities, and organizations. She has served on the boards of an NHS trust, the YMCA, and the Special Olympics. She built links between her school and universities, links between schools and the justice system. Today, we are proud to honor her. Mr. Chancellor, on the recommendation of the Senate and of the Council, I present Frida Hussein, that you may confer on her the honorary degree of Doctor of Laws. Madam, I look to the degree of Doctor of Laws. Frida, warm congratulations. Chancellor, Vice-Chancellor, members of the Senate and Council, Lord Lieutenant of Rutland, Lord Mayor, graduates and graduands, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to th begin by thanking the University of Leicester for conferring on me the degree of Doctor of Laws. It is a privilege and an honor to be among so many learned scholars and students of this university today. We are here to celebrate your achievements at this first class university, where the last decade has seen a significant progress in terms of research, teaching and learning, and excellent national student survey scores. I feel privileged to be associated with this university as a member of the University Council, and I'm aware of the hard work of colleagues and students at every level that has resulted in the high ratings for this university. One of the things I have always celebrated throughout my professional career, and one thing that has given me the greatest pleasure is to celebrate the success of those going through the educational process at every level. And today, we're here to celebrate your success, and I feel very proud to be part of that. The Vice-Chancellor mentioned the new library. We're not just improving the facilities for our students at this university, we're setting standards for libraries in higher education and spearheading national government initiatives in employer engagement and things like that. We've got internationally renowned research going on at this university. And the message I want to share with you today that all of you have been part of and are graduating from a wonderful institution that cares about its students, that celebrates their success, and that wants to see them move forward in a very successful career path where you are paving the way for others to follow. Which university did you graduate from? The answer, Leicester University, and look where that has got me to at the top of your profession and careers. So 
I want you all, today's graduating students and those that have gone in the week before you, to be leading and having a global impact in terms of making a significant contribution to our society as graduates of the University of Leicester. Thank you for listening to me. This is the start of a journey that will take you into fields much further than there, and maybe one day some of you will be standing where I'm standing here and celebrating your successes over your working career. It doesn't stop there. I retired. I didn't want to sit at home. I'm still not working, but voluntarily contributing to a number of organizations, and particularly proud to be part of what is happening in Leicester because we're at the cutting edge of teaching and learning at our schools, colleges, and particularly at the University of Leicester. So well done to all of you, and I wish you every success in the future. Thank you.